I feel like this is too bright. Like, what? Ah! Okay, um, good evening everyone and welcome back to my channel. Okay, anyway, as you remember the title, we are doing a skincare routine. Now, I'm only doing this because somebody asked for this. I've seen the comment recently, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna do this because what else have I got to lose at this point? Anyway, I'm just gonna give you guys probably like a little bit of backstory about my skin. This is a voiceover because I spent a good three minutes talking about my skin for no damn reason when all you guys really needed to know was like two things. Anyway, basically two important things about my skin is that it's very dry because I have eczema. Also, something about my skin is that I don't really get a lot of pimples or like zits or like... Honestly, I don't really know why, but I'm guessing it's genetics. Everybody's skin is not like that, so just like remember that, that my skin is different. But also another thing that I forgot to consider is what you eat because I know that does have an effect on your skin and acne. So like for me, I be drinking bare water. Like just remember that I be drinking water like there's no tomorrow. Like water is my favorite and um, I guess that has an effect on my skin. I don't really know like but like I do drink juice but like I don't really touch soda that much. And yeah, so like that also plays a role in skin and I just wanted to tell you that. Okay, bye. Love you. I'm gonna just tell you what I do every week for my skin. Okay, basically, um, every week on Wednesdays and Sundays is when I take care of my skin or do like a little routine for it. Um, so basically on Wednesday, we're about to bring our first product in. I've been using this. Um, let's put it off to the side because the glare is looking a bit strong. But okay, I'll just tell you the name. It's Clean and Clear Deep Action Exfoliating Scrub, oil free. It be exfoliating. Anyway, this is the value size. This is the bigger one. Um, I got this one when I was in America. Stuff up in Canada be expensive, but still, this was kind of expensive. I don't remember how much, but it was over ten dollars, I believe because it's the value size but i think the normal size is probably ten dollars or under i don't really remember but yeah i only use this twice a week so basically on wednesdays um i use this when i'm in the shower so i wet my face and then i literally just take like a pea size amount pretty much you don't really need that much which is why it's lasting me such a long time so anyway after i take the pea size amount or more if you really need it like most of the time i really don't but like sometimes i'd be putting a bit more than that but yeah um anyway so after that i basically just do this 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 don't get it in the eyes it hurts do not get it in your eyes so just you know keep away from that area anyway i rub it in for like a good minute and as it's on your face you're gonna feel like a cool like tingly feeling and it even says that on the bottle so like that's just expected anyway and then after you wash it off your face is gonna be feeling like cool and like nice and, like after, every time after i use this my skin just feels so good okay quick intermission just a few things that i wanted to point out this product you can use it every day if you really want to and also, I didn't show myself using it in the video because that morning I had already used it, and yeah. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so on Sundays, after I finish using this, I usually do this routine during the night. You can do it in the morning too, but like it doesn't really matter, I don't know. Night's easier for me. Anyway, after I finish using this, I will then proceed to use a toner, and this is gonna be like at night time. So obviously during the day, my face is gonna be getting all dirty and dirty. So then I use this toner that I got from Walmart. This is from Nevia. It's the gentle toner. Um, this is for dry and sensitive skin. And obviously I just got this because you know, it's for dry and sen sensitive skin, which I do have. So I was like, okay, this is perfect for me. Um, at first, I don't remember how much this was, probably $10. Or less if it's more don't don't buy it i'm sorry don't buy it because like i'm literally dying inside but anyway we are about to use the toner okay so basically i use these cotton pads 
for the toner and I usually use like one or two for my whole face sometimes I use it on my neck if I really feel like it so anyway we just get some of this onto the pad don't be putting too much because I do that a lot like I make that mistake a lot keep it out of your eyes I think I think it's, yeah avoid contact with eyes but like sometimes I put it over my eyes when they're closed I don't think we're supposed to do that but honestly I don't really care I feel like this is too bright like what ah! this isn't this is such a bad video like I'm so sorry if you're watching this is so bad I'm so sorry this is so bad Anyway, um, okay, after I'm done toning, I move on to a mask. We're gonna move on to the mask that I have. So basically, um, I only wanted a peel off mask because I just think it's so satisfying to peel off a mask off your face. So um, that's the whole reason why I even got a charcoal peel off mask. <laughs> Let me tell you, I got this and it's, and it's not that bad, you know? Um, I got this from Shoppers Drug Mart. Um, I don't know if everybody has a store like that, but it's called Shoppers Drug Mart. And basically, this is their brand, and this is called the Charcoal Peel Off Mask. Anyway, you can use it, says to use this like once or twice a week. And I only use this once a week on Sundays. I apply the mask when my face is clean, which it is, after I just use the toner. But usually like i wash my face too but like we're really not about to do that right now because like i'm sitting down in my room and i'm just chilling and you're just watching so yeah but anyway um i usually apply the mask on my nose and my chin i only apply it to my whole face if i really feel like i need it anyway this takes like a good 30 minutes to dry so like I'm just gonna chill and I'll be right back and I'll be showing you guys the rest. Hello, we are in the bathroom now. I'm tired of waiting for this to dry since I am recording a video. So even though it's not like fully or like a hundred percent dry, I'm just gonna peel it off. By the way, this mask, it does not hurt at all. Like I feel no pain. <laughs> Since I didn't let it dry properly, I wish these are a little bit more residue than there usually is. After that, I basically wash my face with warm water and I use this little what do you call this? This little sponge thing. It's kind of like I don't know where you can get this, but it's like a exfoliating sponge type thingy bobber. So basically, after I'm done washing my face, I move on to my lips. I don't know where you can actually find these, but like, it's basically a lip scrub, a lip mask, and then just lip balm. Before this, I used to um, make my own lip scrub, which was basically like honey and sugar, or you could also put like coconut oil in there as well and basically just scrub it all over your lips, which is basically what a lip exfoliator is. So I'm doing that right now. <laughs> okay, um, so after you're done exfoliating your lips, obviously wash it off, so I'm about to go do that. Now is the step two of this skincare thing. I forgot to say, say the name, but I think it's em Eminence. Eminence. Um, I take about like this much and I just put it on my lips. And since it is a mask, I keep it on for like three to five minutes. After you're done with part two, just put on lip balm. Obviously you don't really need part two, but like if you don't have these products, I would just suggest making your own lip scrub and then putting on lip balm after. Like this is this right here, this is just extra. And I'm just using it because I got it for free so why not use it after i'm done all that we move on to moisturizer now before i had like a whole kit which i will talk about in a couple of seconds um i usually just put like 
like some type of moisturizer on my face. I forgot what it was. But like coconut oil is pretty good, but don't be using that like all the time because like too much is not good, you feel me? Um, so like I recently got like this Korean skincare thing. It's a little kit, it's a sample kit that I got for free. Boom, boom. That's what it's called. Don't don't ask me to pronounce it. It goes with these four little sample size thingy my lovers. <laughs> listen, listen. I did not know how expensive the actual sizes were, but they're like 200 and something dollars for like the real actual sizes. I think the kit is $10 or something, but it's been lasting a pretty long time, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Okay, I'm just gonna tell you what order I use these things in. Obviously, if you have this, you don't have to do the same way. You can only use one. But obviously, if you don't have this, just skip just skip to the end, honestly. And use like your own type of moisturizer because because like I just started using this recently, so like these two, it's 15 ml. Well, this one's 8 ml. This one. I don't know how much is in this one, but yeah. Just to give y'all a little idea of like what's going on here. Anyway, moving those out of the way. We're gonna use this first. And I usually be like, I take a little boop. You see that? You see that? And then I take a little boop. And a boop. And a boop. Anyway, I just do like little pumps, like on like the four major points of my face, which is the chin, cheeks, and then the forehead. And then I just like kind of like rub and dab it in. We move on to the essential bouncing water. And this is kind of weird because it's not, it doesn't have like the consistency of water. Kind of like a gel like water. Anyway, I just dab it like onto like the four major parts as I was saying before. And then, and since it's like kind of like watery, I just kind of like dab it in. After that part's done, we're gonna move on to the... That's what it's called. Um, I don't know how to pronounce it. But anyway, we're gonna move on to this. And this is basically like a cream. It has a very um, creamy consistency. So I basically use this like as a moisturizer. And then after that, we move on to the renewing cream, which I only use underneath my eyes. I did do research, like I said before, on the products. And this is kind of like a cream that's like for like wrinkles, I think. And then I just rub it in. I just washed off the um, mask, the lip mask that I had on the entire time. And then now I'm just putting on the lip balm. Obviously, use whatever lip balm you want because like lip balm is lip balm. Anyway, that is the end of the video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys next week. Let me know if this helped you or not. I don't really know. Like, was it useful? <laughs> I don't know. But like, you don't have to use the products that I was using. Like, just find something like probably similar to them if you want to follow like this kind of routine. But I um, mean, yeah, like, like I'm not an expert on all that skin stuff. But like, this is just what I be doing. And yeah, um. This is what the skin's looking like right now. And um, yeah, I'm done with this video. I've been recording for too damn long.